Hey everyone, I'm going to do a review on Scandinavia's No More Shine Finish Spray. And yes, they did send me this. They also sent me a couple other sprays that they have um, available. But I wanted to focus on this one. Of course, I had a lot of interest in this one because this is supposed to be great for oily skin. I have extremely oily skin. If you watch to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how my face looks after 7 hours of wear. So this is supposed to help keep your face looking matte from up to 16 hours. It's supposed to keep your makeup from melting and slipping off throughout the day. It's a weightless mist that's supposed to hold foundation, eyeshadow, blush, and concealer. On the bottle it says it's oil free and paraben free, which is good. Here's what it claims. It claims it extends wear and reduces shine on oily skin and makeup surface. Absorbs excess oil to control makeup slippage. Now the way you're supposed to use this is they instruct you to shake it really well before you use it because I believe that the product separates in here and you wouldn't be able to see because it's not a clear bottle obviously. So you're supposed to shake it really well. You're supposed to hold it about 8 to 10 inches away from your face and spritz it about 2 to 4 times before you apply any of the makeup and then after you finish applying all the makeup. So you know, on your make on your face, no makeup, spritz it a few times, let it dry, and then apply your foundation and the rest of your makeup. And then do the same process, you know, holding it eight to ten inches away from your face, spritzing it two to four times, and then just letting that set. I've tried this on a lot of different foundations. I've tried it on my mineral foundation, on foundations that I find that just don't last very long at, on me at all, um, such as like the Revlon Photo Ready, like I, I get super oily really fast with that. I've also tried it on the Makeup Forever HD foundation and MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation. Today I have a mix of Studio Fix Fluid and the Face and Body foundation from MAC. And so I tried that over this whole combination today just to see how it works with different foundations. Now the first thing I noticed, you know, no matter what type of foundation I'm wearing, after I spritz this on my finishly made up face. I notice that it kind of leaves like a sheen, like a, almost like a this really light sheen film over my face. Like you can kind of see it. And it's not as matte as it was before spraying it because usually I apply my foundation and whether it be like a mineral foundation, powder foundation, or a liquid foundation. Usually, you know, especially with liquid foundation, I'll set it with some kind of powder. And that powder, of course, makes me look more matte. And so once I apply this, it definitely kind of makes me look less matte, but not in a bad way. The only thing is that I think a lot of you guys would appreciate if you find that powder makes you look cakey or any foundations make you look cakey. This kind of helps smooth it out a bit. Um, it just kind of helps reduce that cakey look. Now, I've heard hype so many hype reviews on this. I've read up on different reviews um, and some people said that like they didn't have to like touch up on their makeup anymore and supposedly they have really oily skin. Now sometimes I wonder like how oily is their skin really because my skin is really oily. I mean I think you can even tell now and I, I kind of like blotted a little bit and powdered a little bit and I'm already getting oily again because I just get oily that easily. Now to be completely honest with you I'm not quite sure what to make of this. I can't say that I see a huge difference. I wouldn't say that this is a miracle worker for me. Like even earlier today after three to four hours of wear I started seeing the oil and the shine breaking through especially in my nose area and then after that it was just downhill from there you know oil starts there and then it starts to produce right here and on my forehead and a little bit on my chin and I just get really really oily and it's like yeah, once, you know, once that oil starts to seep through, there really is, like, no turning back. I was hoping that this would last at least up to, like, seven to eight hours, and I wouldn't mind if my skin looked slightly dew or had a slight sheen, but, you know, my skin got really oily, and you'll be able to see that in a little bit. So the makeup does seem to last quite a bit, but as far as oil control goes, I wouldn't say that it does much or makes much of a difference. So I know, you know, this is, like, a holy grail product for a lot of people. It's not for me. I could live without it. I'm I'm stubborn. Like I wanted it to work for me and you know, I kept trying it out. I still I think I still will continue to try it out and make it work. For this bottle, it's 2 fluid ounces and I believe 
For two fluid ounces, it's $19, and they have larger sizes as well, which cost more. I'll put a link to this product if you're interested. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't necessarily mean it won't work for you. You know, looking around at like Makeup Alley and just searching around at different reviews, for the most part, there were good reviews. There were positive reviews. So if this is something that you're interested in trying out, go for it. It's just, this is my personal experience. Just kind of take it for what it is. There's supposed to be a surface cooling technology within this formula, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I could really like sense it or feel it when I apply it, but you know, as most mists, when you apply it over your face, it's, it feels pretty refreshing. I feel quite warm now, so maybe I'll, I'll spritz some on myself now. So you're supposed to hold it 8 to 10 inches away. I usually like to purse my lips together because I, for some reason, I don't want it to like touch my lips. As far as the scent goes, it's very refreshing. It's a very light, you know, kind of fresh, not offensive at all. I'll list out the ingredients that are in this product below in that bottom bar. So I did want you guys to be able to see how my face looks after a good period of time. This is after seven hours of wear um, and I did lightly blot with toilet paper while I was out earlier, just out of habit. I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have touched up or anything. But I just slightly blotted a little bit in my T-zone because I could see the oil breaking through um, about like four hours after applying it. And now it's like seven hours after. So just letting you, you see how oily I get. I get really, really, really oily. So that's my review on the Scandinavia No More Shine Finish Spray. Let me know if you've tried out this product and let me know your thoughts on it. I think it would help out people to see more experiences and thoughts and reviews on the product rather than just from one person. So definitely always do your research. Um, I highly recommend that. And thanks so much for watching this review.